I've come up with a way to mount the contour camera system onto a motorcycle helmet. As you guys uh, that are looking at this might know, you know, contour is out of business or they keep going out of business and going back in business, but their mounts have never been that great and they always break real easily. Uh, so what I've done is I found that people in Airsoft uh, started using these and also tactical uh, military people, police people, and they would have these helmets, these tactical helmets that had a rail system and a mount system just made for the contour. So basically, here's the one that I got. It's called the Centurion and it is a, D, a DLP Tactical Centurion um, for a core helmet and I got mine a little cheaper in the color I didn't want, but I'm going to paint it. Uh, this one's foliage green. And I've already done some of the work on this already before I decided to film this. Uh, basically, the other part that comes with it is the Contour HD adapter, which uh, is an ACH uh, side rail adapter for the Contour uh, camera by Ops Core. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in on that and uh, take a look at it. Now, there are Chinese products that come out with uh, both this one and this one. This one's about $30, and this one was about $30 to $40. And there is also another rail uh, that you can use for the side, which uh, would be it looks like this and it goes onto the side of a helmet that looks similar to this so as you see the one I'm working on is the Centurion rail which is the top mount and what I've done is I found quick steel by Blue Magic plastic repair it was at the auto store and you know you open up the tube you pinch some of it out or cut it in half out of the wrapper in here and you're going to want to roll it in your hands but I suggest probably using gloves it might uh, it might burn slightly uh, I mean it, it was okay for me and um, you're going to want to roll it in your hands till it gets really hot and uh, mix it in real well because it has to be mixed in real real well because there's a uh, two elements of, to this, uh, like two types of clay. And then what I did is I took it and I pressed it all the way in into the holes that are in the back of this, which is what I needed to do to make it be able to fit better onto a helmet. And so I basically just filled this in and I took a, like a pill bottle and I rolled it in there and I got it as smooth as I could. I probably could have done a better job but I was just doing it on a whim really in the middle of the night and what I did is I put some tape on top of here so when I'm pushing from the bottom that it's not coming through the holes so you can just peel that off after you're done and uh, basically what can happen is the rail adapter goes onto the rail right here which goes into your camera system and oops I put it in upside down uh, it's very tough unlike you know the regular contour mounts that everyone comes up with uh, from contour or these other places um, and if you turn the screws over on the sides here you can twist this in different directions so you can have it going side to side or up and down and uh, Basically, this is goes on to the helmet like that, and what I've done is I've put Velcro, and it'll go on my helmet like this. Now, you know, I, I can I'm going to push this up farther on the on the latches, and also if I want, I can mount it up here. But when I'm tilting my head, I'm going to have perfect view of already. Uh, looked into this. Now, 
basically what you're going to want to do is if you want to Velcro it, I, I, I like that. That way I can move it around and uh, it's a little bit less, uh, less uh, difficult to try and get this stuff off. Or you could use 3M tape up here and on the bottom because this is smooth enough for tape now, which is the reason why I did this because there was holes in the back here that I didn't like. So after I filled the putty in, it's nice and smooth and this tape sticks nice and good to here. Uh, what you can do also is you can get some kind of a more permanent glue and you can uh, glue the sides or even glue glue it down without getting the uh, sticky velcro and just glue it right on to the backing here. So this was just a temporary just to test it out. What I have here is the regular velcro that I will cut up and I chose black for the black helmet of course and also I do have white for my white helmet that I'll do the same thing with. Um, so what you need to do is basically just buy the Centurion DLP tactical uh, rail if you want to put it on the top of your helmet and fill that with the velcro of the the, the bristle type on the top there and put the soft part onto the helmet and that's the easiest way and like I said I'm gonna paint this one to match just with some Krylon paint right there some black paint and then I'm gonna just mount the system right up there and I'm gonna have a camera that is gonna be nice and solid on my helmet unlike the contour ones that you can't get or they're too expensive anymore uh, and they break after a short amount of time because they they just weren't made that well um, also like I said if you want to get the other rail the other rail is uh, let me see what the name was I forget the uh, ARC rail set um, which you can look up in different colors and there's a couple different sizes what I suggest is if you want to get one of these that you would cut it down with a tool like probably a Dremel uh, or some kind of a cutter and you can cut the front of it cut the side of it and it'll have probably the right angle that you want after you filled it in to, to fit right on the side of your helmet right there which you could also actually do with the Centurion mount if you feel like what you can do is cut this one in half and maybe the edge down there if you want you don't have to you just just cut it in half and that way it could fit on the side of the helmet also see there's a little gap there that's only because um, it needs to be cut in half I mean I could push down on it and it would fit better but that's something that you that you'd want to do maybe even a heat gun and you can bend it into the shape if you didn't want to cut it in half but I suggest cutting it in half and doing the same thing that I just did uh, also uh, you know the, the, the Chinese ones are going to be a lot cheaper under ten dollars five dollars but I don't know how long they'll last for putting your um, putting your mounts on and off constantly uh, because they are made of cheap plastic and even though these are more expensive it's going to be worth it in the long run so all right guys have fun and hopefully that uh, works for you to try and make a contour mount system for your helmet